Yo, what's up, guys? I'm just here, and today, hey, man, Manchester United won. Chelsea won. We do get away and nick a draw at Stamford Bridge in the 94th minute of extra time. Bro, that game, bro, a game of emotions, a game of, of, of a different elk, man. That, that game was very, I, I thought it had nil-nil written all over it, and then just at the end, so much happened in that last 10 minutes. The 85th to the 95th minute, dude, like so many emotions that's happened at once. That, that's insanity. That that was a great, great, great game, man. Um, honestly, man, I think we got away with it. We got away with it, bro. Keppa almost keeping that out. That that was a hell of a stretch. I, I can't even believe he got a hand to that. He actually got a hand to it, and it tipped off the post, and it, it just, it was like an inch over the line. And inches mean everything in the sport. And inches can mean titles. And it's crazy, man. I mean, wow. Wow, oh, wow. But we get the result. We get the draw. Um, I am not happy with the draw. We we, we, we should have won. If McTominay didn't... I, I think that McTominay thing is ridiculous, bro. Once again, this, this is not like Sunday League. This is not in the park where they don't have cameras. Once again, dude, they have cameras everywhere in the stadium. They're watching the game. Every angle, they have every angle to look at you. Every single angle to see if it's a penalty or not. You can't just grab onto somebody and hold them. That That's 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 just not... This should be common sense. And he knows this. He knows this. I know he knows this. And he made a mistake and a lapse of judgment. But, I mean, once again, dude, you're coming on to tighten up things. And he's doing reckless shit. I think he has some the most yellow cards in the team. You're coming on to tighten up the game, and you're coming on doing crazy, wild shit, McTominay. You got to shape it up, man, because honestly, that almost costed us three points. We got kind of lucky at the end that Casemiro bailed us out. Inches over the line. Inches. What got us a point. And I'm happy with it, man, but uh, to be honest, I wanted to win today, man. Um... But I will I will take that all day because honestly I I would have been on here pissed off man if we would have lost by that, and I would be going in harder on McTominay because to be honest that's unacceptable, because that's ridiculous man, even on the halfway if you do that in 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 the halfway line if you grab onto somebody like that on the halfway line that's a yellow card, that's a yellow you can't do that especially in the box if you do that even on the halfway line, to stop somebody on an attack that's a yellow card, this is common sense and. I, I just, I, I think it was just a lapse in concentration, a lapse in judgment, but we did nick it at the end. Another hard-fought game at Stanford Bridge. Chelsea, every time we play Chelsea, it's either we blow them out, or we win, or it's it's a nil-nil draw, or a tight, it's always a tight game at Stanford Bridge, or when they come and play us at Old Trafford. So, we did walk away with the point. Um, honestly, going into it, I thought we could win. We could have won that game. Um, I think going. I think defensively, we're solid. It's going forward. We're having problems. We need a number nine. We need. We need a striker. If Ronaldo's not going to play, if he's suspended with all his stuff going on right now, if he's going to leave in January, we got to go out in the market and get a number nine. We need a striker. Um, Rashford is not not going to be able to play striker all the time. He can play it in maybe against in the Europa League or something, or whatever. In the Premier League against good teams, he's going to get clamped because they're just going to they, they're going to know they're going to mark him because a lot of teams play back five. So in a back five, he's screwed because he's the only striker up top, and it's a field day for defenders. So and the Varane thing as well with his injury, Varane is um he was um, limping off. He he looked like he was in a lot of pain um, around the legs and the knee area. I I hope that's not a serious injury because if that's a serious injury, you know what that means. Maguire is going to become fit again. Magically, well, not magically, but he's been recovering for a few weeks, but he's already getting back into training and stuff. You know what that means. He, they're going to put McGuire back in the lineup. He's going to be captain again, and we're going to be back where we were at. We have been very, very good defensively. Very, very good. The only reason we conceded today was because of McTominay. I don't know. I'm going to leave that because that, that's. He knows better. That That's ridiculous, man. I, I still can't believe he did that. I mean, I mean, he was holding on to him like one, two, like five, six steps. Ridiculous. But um, I hope that Veron thing is not serious. He was limping. They had to stretch her out. He didn't need to stretch. He was walking off. Um, he was crying. He had his face in his shirt. That's not good. Because if he's out for a bit, for one, he's going to miss the World Cup, 
The World Cup is coming up, man. A lot of these players, man, World Cup. The World Cup is coming up. A lot of players are thinking about that right now. That's why these games are so tight at the moment. If you notice, a lot of these games are 1-0s, 1-1, 2-1. They're very tight right now because a lot of players are not trying to get injured before the World Cup. A lot of players are kind of easing up a little bit. They're not trying to get an injury for the World Cup. The World Cup is coming. It's coming um, in a month. So, I, I, I mean, it just is what it is, man. Um, but yeah, I mean, we walk away with the point at Stanford Bridge. Um, and on to the next game. That's that's just how it is. We're on to the next one. Um, I guess it's better than a loss, but still, man, I, I want to win. I want to win that. I think we could have nicked it if McTominay didn't do that. But it is what it is, guys. Let me know what you think of the result down below. And, yeah, Casemiro at the death. I know that, bro. Oh, those Chelsea fans went so quiet. Oh, that killed them. And that's great to see. So, yep, walk away with the point. Let me know what you think of the result down below. And I'm out.